video i'm going to show how to install webdriver agent app in your uh, either simulator or iphone so to start on that uh, we have to install apm first so the two ways to install apm in your device one is through gui which is available through apm website the other through terminal commands so you can use npm command to globally install your mac machine okay so after installing apm so uh, so that will create that will create a web driver agent uh, xcode project after like you installing apm in your mac machine so either you can use the gui path or you can use the npm path to get into that web driver agent app let me just uh, so this is this is the path uh, i got after uh, installing through npm command so apm web driver agent app you have to go to this and there uh, there, there you can find the export project of uh, web driver agent okay okay so this i have come through the uh, npm path okay so this will be like starting from usr local bin lib apm node modules apm web driver agent app and inside that you can find the web driver agent app export project the same thing you can do it in through the same thing you can find it through uh geo app you install like go to apm server and then open the package contents there you get resources just a second uh so it will be like resources app node modules and apm okay uh, app and then node modules then apm So it will be the same path again you have to choose node modules okay and then apm web driver agent app so these are the two ways to get into that uh, uh, path to find the export project okay so i'm not finding here okay where is web driver? okay yeah here it is so both are same so this is through npm command and this is through the gui uh, that you have installed let me just open that so once you open the web driver agent app you have to install this in your uh, like whichever is available okay so right now i got simulator with me and then <clears throat> select the project okay and then uh, three things you need to set up one is uh, the web driver agent library and there is integration app and the web driver agent runner so let me just start with the integration app okay so make sure your bundle identifier will be unique so so if there's already if it is already used okay it's like a unique name unique bundle identifier available in that app apple okay so make sure that you need to make it unique so always it won't be installed in your device so let me just uh, change it for now okay so and also you need to choose a team so either you can create your own account like personal account which is like not required for to register with the apple developer account like paying 99 dollars and then registering it you can also use your personal account which is free if you want you can use uh, the register one like with as a, as a developer account so both will work in this uh, case so currently i'm choosing the personal one to demo this okay and then so see uh, when you just uh, se select the account you can see that uh, uh, this bundle identifier is not available okay so make sure that you make it unique uh, you can give any name like which can be unique so let me just give gadgets app dot integration app okay so if you try again i think that's see that's unique and then uh, the signing certificate is already done and it's not showing any error now you need to run this uh, uh, in your 
uh, device that you want to install web driver agent app okay so i choose an integration app here let me just choose i am using iphone 13 ios 15 version okay so iphone 13 ios 15 version i guess this is the one yeah so 14 is 12 doesn't have the 15 version so yeah so now we can run this uh they'll, they'll have a play button over here you can run it okay now so now here i'm just uh, just running the integration app so integration app is like a demo app when you're running the automation okay so build succeeded i can see that integration app getting installed in your device so this app you can use it for demo purpose okay the next step the next step will be like we'll be installing the web driver agent app it's still installing yeah now you can see the app got installed in your device so there are some actionable items where you can uh, perform no need to worry on this okay this, this is all uh, uh, is for demo purpose so let me just stop this now the integration app is installed on your device now next step is to install um, the web driver agent library and the web driver agent runner okay so the same steps we'll be repeating here you'll be choosing the team so I, either you can choose the apple account or you can use your own personal account okay so let me just uh, give the same name what i've given before here to gadgets app dot web driver agent library so this is will be unique okay and then same with web driver agent runner so i'll be choosing my personal account and then bundle identifier it's showing com.facebook web agent runner so you need to make it unique for this you go to build settings okay so here you're not able to change it here as like uh, for integration app you have to go to build settings for this and search for product uh, build identifier okay product product bundle identifier so make sure you change the name over here as well so there's nothing just making it unique so that uh, your application will run okay so i change it now so it's unique one let me just uh, i think i need to change it for this as well okay i think uh, i need to open this I think I'll change everywhere. And what is the issue here? Okay. Yeah, make sure that you select this bundle identifier, okay? So now we're done with the setup. Uh, there's a unique bundle identifier we're using now. So we need to run this in your phone. So choose the web driver agent runner and the device that you want to install. So I'm running on iPhone 13, right? Yeah, iPhone 13. The 15.2 version. And I'm gonna run it. So once the build is succeeded, we can see that uh, web driver agent app installed in your iPhone or similar to it. So just follow this technique. So no need to like uh, get confused with the accounts, Apple accounts. Okay, it's very simple. Choose the app, uh, choose the personal account or your Apple developer account, and then make sure your uh, bundle identifier is unique and then run it okay so it's still building so once this is successful and then you can uh, continue your automation and with apm Take 
in time it's building 237 okay now the build is succeeded you can see right so yeah uh, you can't see the web driver agent app but I, I think uh, that you can find it in when running the APM server okay So let me just okay let me just uh, run it here so 15.2 and I'm using iPhone 13 and I need to provide the UDID of this so windows go to windows device and simulators simulators iPhone 13 here you get the UDID and go to APM go to your APM inspector this inspector okay and then just provide the unique UDID and then now you can try launching it you can see the web driver agent app getting installed in your phone so it has to show build success in your Xcode or else it won't work so this will take for the, this will take time for like um, um, when you're doing for the first time but it will work soon for second time installations Yeah, as I said, this will take long time for the first time installation. Okay, have to wait. Yeah, can, you can see here web driver region app got installed. Now you are it's launching your app as well. So we have successfully installed the web driver region app in your iPhone or simulator. Okay. So this will affect loading in your yeah GUI. Okay. So we are done. Thanks for watching the video.